In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your website using WebStarts AI. I'm also going to give you a tour of all the things that WebStarts.ai can do for your website. So WebStarts.ai is so much more than just another website builder, but you can even create an online store, a blog, manage contacts, do email marketing, and everything from your phone that you need for your business. So let's get started by tapping login and then just use the email address that uh, you signed up and the password that you signed up for when you created your webstarts.ai website. Now I'm in the account dashboard and in the account dashboard you'll notice that there's a notifications bell in the top right. That's where you'll receive important notifications from your website. For example, if somebody fills out the contact form on your website, you can view the data that they submitted by going to your notifications and then tapping on that submission. It also lets you know when somebody visited your website. So for example, I can see I had one visitor yesterday to this particular website and it lets you know other things as well. For example, if you had an online store and you had an order submitted, you would receive that notification or a comment on your blog, so on and so forth. So what you do in the dashboard is you go down and you select the website that you would like to edit by just tapping on it. And then what you can do is tap edit site and that will load the simple editor is what we call it. The simple editor gives you access to the basic changes that you can make to your website. For example, you can tap on a text box and then tap edit text and then begin editing the contents of the text, but you can't add a new text box. And just the same way with the image, you can change out an image, like swap it for one that's in your file manager already uploaded to your website, or you can take a photo from your mobile phone and upload it and replace that existing image. But you can't add a whole new image section in the simple editor. To make those kind of changes, what you'll need to do is use the Web Starts full editor, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Another thing you'll want to keep in mind is that you can tap on your menu to change from page to page. So if you wanted to edit a different page of your website, you would tap on the menu and then select that page that you'd like to edit. So here you can see that I'm selecting the about page and that's going to pull up the about page in the simple editor. When you're ready to save your changes, you just tap the save icon down here on the bottom toolbar. And then of course you can share those on Twitter and Facebook and the like. You can also view your website on your mobile device just by clicking the view icon. Here you can see what that page looks like in the mobile browser. Here, once again, we can bring up the sharing options. And then if you tap this little arrow to the left, you'll go back to your dashboard view. You can log out by tapping the menu in the top right and then tapping log out. It's also where you can manage things like your billing and your account settings, your username, password, that kind of thing. Now Web Starts is a full fledged website builder. So anything that you've seen on the web, you can pretty much do with Web Starts. And you can do that by going to webstarts.com on a desktop computer and then logging in using your same email and password. But I'm going to continue with this demo, just showing you how webstarts.ai works on your mobile device. So you can see once again, we're out here on the site view. Here's the link to my site. I can tap this little icon right here and I can change the URL to my website. I can add a domain name. So if I had a top level domain name, like my very own .com, I could add that to my website by tapping there. You can register a domain name that you've owned for a while, or you can add a new domain name that you've never registered before. You just tap it into the field. Here you can upgrade to a paid plan. You will have to upgrade to a paid plan to connect a domain name using Web Starts. And then here you can see the different apps that you can enable using Web Starts. Now, if the app is grayed out like the store, that means that it's disabled. And if it's blue, that means that it is enabled. So for example, this website has a blog. It's already enabled. I can just access my blog app by tapping on that panel. Here you can see my posts. I haven't created any yet, but if I want to create a new post, I just tap new post and then I begin writing my blog. So here you can see the title. 
you tap in here to begin writing your blog content and then you can even add a photo or video to your blog post. I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. There are also a few other things you can do in the blog. For example, you can view or manage your comments, that kind of thing. If people leave comments on your blog, you can view the blog itself. You can return to the dashboard. Back out at the dashboard, I can choose to enable these other apps, for example, the store. So let me just tap on that store app. And now my store is enabled and I can add my first product for sale. I can add a title, a description. I can upload images as well from my phone or I can choose them from my file manager. I can even put videos and then of course add a price, set up things like my shipping options, so on and so forth. Here you'll see all the different functions that you have access to in your online store from your mobile phone. So I'm under the products tab right now. So that's where you create products. You can create categories and then sort those products into separate categories. You can view your orders. You can run reports so you can see what kind of sales you're making. You can add coupon codes. So if you want to give your customers a discount using a coupon code, you can use that feature. And then you can view your customer's data as well. Most of this is empty. And then under settings, you can do things like change your payment processor and stuff like that. And webstarts.ai does support a number of processors, WePay, Stripe, Authorize.net, to name a few. You can also choose whether you want to accept PayPal or allow comments at checkout. So for example, if you're selling a custom product and you needed some instructions at checkout, you can tap that box and enable that. And you can choose whether you want to allow your customers to log in and save their credit card information, that kind of thing. If you want to do that, you tap allow customer login at checkout. Here you can set up your taxes and then your shipping options. Your shipping can be sorted in a number of different ways. You can ship by weight, price, quantity, flat rate, free shipping, whatever you choose. But that is really up to your business. Here you put in your zip code because... Uh, it needs to know that to calculate UPS shipping rates, for example. And then up here, notice that you can switch it between live and test mode. So if you wanted to test it, you could do that by switching it in test mode. Okay, I'm going to back out of this just by tapping the back button. And if I refresh this, what you'll see is that that store app is now enabled on my site. Now you can also have email marketing. So if you capture... Uh, contact data from your forms. You can send follow-up and broadcast emails to those people directly from your mobile phone. That is a paid feature and it's based on usage. So you can select the appropriate option, but that's a great way to turn more of the people who visit your website into customers because you can put something like a contact or subscribe form on your homepage. And then once you capture their email, you send regular follow-up emails to them and also broadcast. So if you're running a sale or you just wanted to make a general announcement to everybody who opted into your email list, you could do that all under the email marketing app. Business email is just a matching business email that goes with your domain name. So if you had my very own domain.com as your domain name, you could have your name at your very own domain name.com. So for example, let's say I registered webstarts.com. I'm Adam at webstarts.com. And that's a nice professional looking email address that I can add to my business card and on my website and wherever else, as opposed to using a free Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail address. Here's the contacts app. That's where you can manage all the contact data that was submitted through a form on your website. You can also add contacts manually here. For this demo, I don't have any contacts added yet. And you can also enable analytics an SSL certificate if you want to make sure that your URL is secured. And you can enable the chat app and that will allow you to chat with your customers live on your website. So let's go ahead and do that. I just confirmed that I want to enable chat. And now I open up the chat app. And what happens here is if you take a look, see if I can view my site. Go ahead and open up 
another browser. You'll see a little chat app is now on my live website and then I can chat there and I can say hi. And then if I go back to the account owner view, it'll show my little chat session and I can have a little chat session going on my website with my customers or my site visitors. So there you can see I said welcome and then here in the chat view it says welcome. That's a pretty cool feature just built into WebStarts AI so you don't have to do anything extra or pay anything extra to have that. A lot of websites charge for that. You can also do things like add traffic booster, listing express, local listing. Those are all promotional ways or ways to promote your website. And then you can also add a member's login area. So if you wanted to have certain pages on your website that could only be accessed by somebody who is a member, then you'd want to enable that uh, members section. You can add new members manually there or they can sign up on your web pages if you activate that. And then we have advertising credits that we give you if you upgrade to a paid plan. But that's it. That's pretty much a tour of webstarts.ai on the mobile phone, all the things that you can do with it. If you want to edit everything on your website, uh, again, go to webstarts.com, use the same email address and password, and then you'll be able to use the full drag and drop editor, and then you can do all kinds of things. There's a lot more apps and a lot more elements that you can add to your page. A couple other things before I go. One is you can change design. If you do change your design, you'll lose your content. So be careful about that. If you do lose your content, there's a little backup icon right there. And if you tap backup, then you'll have the opportunity to backup or restore from a previous version of your website. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I always respond to relevant questions. And be sure to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and enable notifications so that you always find out or are the first to find out when we release a new feature or another great video. Thanks for watching.